Again, I'm hearing a lot of talk about the recession. If we look around, man, like the stock market is down bad. Crypto got wiped out, right? Um, it's so many things going on. Gas prices are just continuously increasing. Had to come out of the struggle. Now I'll be dodging the trouble. I don't be making it rain. Though I came up from the puddle, I'll be investing in things, making my little money double. Building wealth. We got to build wealth now. So, um, if y'all remember the steps, write down the steps for me. I want to I wanna see if y'all paying attention because I don't want to be wasting my breath and y'all not taking notes. Right? I, I want y'all to tell me what is the steps to financial independence. We got cash flow, emergency fund, debt management, have the proper protection, and now we got to build wealth. The way you build wealth is by ownership. The way you build wealth is ownership. Now, let me give y'all some real high level game. A lot of people, they be like, oh, like, like, like somebody said to me, they was like, yo, I'd rather do Airbnb and do short term rental because I could make three, three thousand to five thousand on that same apartment versus you making eight hundred dollars. Right. Which it does make sense. It does make sense. Right. It makes sense. So they said, I'd rather rent out the apartment. Like, I'd rather sublease the apartment and do short-term rental, and I don't want to own it, right? And then I said, okay, so let me let me, let me me give it to you on a different angle. See, owning real estate is not just about cash flow. Like, I buy property sometimes, and it may only bring me $300, $400, but guess what? I got asset value. That goes to building wealth. So now when I go to the banks and they look at my, my personal finance statement, Right. So for those of you that if you really in this business, you understand personal finance statements, PFS. And on the personal finance statement, you got to outline all of your assets, everything that you have and what it's worth. So I'm OK with having a three hundred dollars a month cash flow. But on paper, I got four hundred thousand dollars in net worth because I own this asset. So when I own these assets and I have net worth, when I go to the bank, it's a different kind of, kind of conversation. Now they could give me a business loan. Now they could give me certain things because they know I got collateral. If anything was to happen to me, they know I have assets that are worth millions of dollars. So sometimes we can't always look at the, the small part of it. We can't look at the quick way to make money. We got to look at it from a high level and say, okay, if I buy this building, and I only cash flow, you know, $500. Yeah, I could do Airbnb, but I'd rather own it because now I got the asset value. I really want to own it and do Airbnb, do both, really. That's what you should do. But I'm, for people that say, no, do it without owning, well, listen, you can own it and do Airbnb out of your apartment. So that now you got all the benefits, you got all the cash flow, you got all the ownership, the equity, the tax breaks and everything. This is how we build wealth by ownership, buying businesses. This is a website. Write this down, y'all. Biz buy sell. B-I-Z-B-U-Y-S-E-L-L. Biz buy sell. This is a business brokerage website where you could actually buy other existing businesses. You could go buy an ATM business. You could go buy a restaurant. You could, like you could go buy a lot of businesses for the cheap, for the low. From a lot of people that say, "I'm tired," you know, they can't afford to maintain. They beat up, and you go buy their businesses for pennies on a dollar. And when you go buy their businesses, you can flip the business. That's high level thinking. You buy a business and flip the business. You could do that. Make a lot of money bizbuysell.com bizbuysell.com 